Hey guys, welcome back to yet another Tugaluna Outdoors video. Um, got another product review and unboxing for you all. Well, kind of unboxing. I already unboxed it, that way I can make sure everything was in there, stuff like that. Um, guys, I want to talk a little bit about this product before I show you all what it is and stuff like that, guys. Dog comfort is one of the most important things, I think. In my opinion, it's one of the most important things when it comes to duck hunting with a dog. Um, the reason that is is because the more your dog's comfortable with what it, what you're doing and what he's supposed to do, the less you're going to have to worry about him. And that just means the more ducks you're going to kill. Uh, the, less you're, the less you're worried about your dog and what he's doing and if, you know, stuff like that the better off you're gonna be all right so with that being said uh, I opened the box from the wrong side so I'm gonna have to hold it all funky and stuff for y'all but this is what we picked up for Bo it's gonna be the Mo Marsh ramp stand obviously made by Mo Marsh um, well it's by Higdon Outdoors but it's Mo Marsh is the brand Guys, the reason I went with the Mo Marsh ramp, uh, the, actually, let me talk. Let me pull it out and show y'all for uh, a minute, and then I'll talk about more about why I went with this and stuff like that. All right. So you got to. It comes with this little paper. Uh, basically, shows you. Uh, how to put it together um, it all comes together except for the boat hooks the the gunnel hooks um, that it all it's all pretty much together besides that but it, it it goes your instructions on how to use it and stuff like that so we will throw that back in the box um, so yeah guys here we go all right, so here is your gunnel hooks for the side of your boat. It is a, it is a, is it's a ramp for your dog to get in your boat. Uh, that's basically the point of it. But as you can see, really nice. It, it's a really nice uh, aluminum, a thick grade aluminum. Not gonna bend. Not gonna. <clears throat> it's a really nice thick grade aluminum. It's not gonna bend, it's not gonna, uh, you know, destroy on you, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so there's your, there's your boat hooks for the, for the ramp. Now the reason this thing is called a ramp stand is, and really the reason why I decided to pick this product up is the versatility of this product. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it there, but you got little feet. And if y'all hunt deer or anything like that, you kind of know what that's for, don't you? But guys, this also doubles as a, a tree stand for your dog. Um, I will probably be using this feature a lot because I do a lot of flooded, a lot of flooded timber hunting. Um, so it'll be nice to be able to put bow up on a tree and uh, have some more room in the boat and stuff like that. So this is a really nice feature. This is a really nice feature to have um, for all of you that, like me, hunt a lot of flooded timber with your dog. You know, it can get kind of confusing on trying to figure out what you're going to do with him, where he's going to be able, where he's going to be at while you're hunting. Um, cause obviously you don't want your dog just sitting in cold water like that for hours on end. It, it, he don't have waders on like we do and that's a bad ordeal. So that's really nice to see, um, that a company has actually done that. Um, uh, I was looking around for boat ramps for Bo because he's gotten big and I don't want to pick him up every time he goes out and gets a bird. I don't want to have to pick him up and put him back in the boat every time. So I was looking for ramps, looking for ramps, looking for ramps, and then I come across this Mo Marsh ramp stand, and 
I think this is going to be the the pretty much the solve all problem to everything when it comes to bow hunting with me. Um, either I can have them in the boat with me hunting, hook it on the hook it on the boat. This is a swim up, basically. Let's see if I can pick it up here where y'all can see. This is the whole ramp stand. All right. So basically, this this part right here, the bottom, and most likely some of this part is going to be in the water. If not, this is going to be in the water too, depending on what boat you have and stuff like that. Um, this will probably be out of the water on my boat, depending on where I put the hook set and stuff like that. But this is in the water. This is in the water. Um, so this is a true... This is a true swim up, get on this stand, step up onto this stand, get back in the boat, which is super nice because the, once again, this is the Mo Marsh ramp stand by Higdon Outdoors. Uh, guys, make sure y'all go and check it out. If y'all have a dog and y'all hunt out of a boat or out of a flood, uh, in the flooded timber, guys, make sure you check out this ramp stand. This is a... It is the perfect solution to people like me who hunt flooded timber a lot and want to be able to keep their dog up out of the water, uh, but still need a boat ramp for your dog to get back in the boat if you're hunting out of the boat. So guys, make sure y'all go and check this out. Um, see with the one side of it being a tree stand, it comes with a little ratchet strap just like any tree stand you may buy for deer hunting. So guys, one important thing when it comes to dogs, is they need to be familiar with things before you expose them to it basically like out in out in the field so if you guys have been watching my training my training session videos then you know that i've gotten Bo. Uh, he uses a place stand a lot um it's basically just a climbing tree stand that but this is going to replace that for right now because i want to get him used to getting on this getting on the bottom stand, getting up on the top stand uh, before we're out in the boat. And he, I put this on the side of the boat and he don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, all right guys, so as you can see, there's both place stand that we've all, that we've used every video. Um, you've seen it. Whew, temperature's dropping, boy. Them birds better be coming on down south here. Uh, so there's both place stand. Um, I'm gonna go get the Momar stand real quick. Y'all can see how much we've used this stand. He's got holes just from getting up and out of it. He's put holes in that uh, board that I put on there. So guys, up here is where your, where your boat hooks would go. Um, I'm just going to leave them off for right now because I'm just going to put it on the tree. You can, with these D-ring pins, with these D-ring pins, you can move it out of the way and leave it on there. Leave the, the hooks that is on there. All right, guys. So as you can see, just like that, that easy. We've got the Mo Marsh stand up on the tree. All right. Now, I usually have Bo's place stand like up around here. Um, but obviously, with this being his first time using this Mo Marsh ramp stand, I'm gonna have it really low for him. Uh, because I want him 
using that bottom thing right now um, but yeah guys there it is the mo marsh ramp stand hooked on the tree just as we were hunting flooded timber now guys what i would do if this was if i was on a flooded timber hunt what i would do is this bottom part and probably like half of this top part right here so the bottom stand and about half of this would be in the water and then i have his stand that he's going to be sitting on up out of the water uh, one really cool feature about this uh, ramp stand is these little feet thing right here as you can see it's basically like a uni ball um, type of thing here but that really makes it a lot easier I don't know if y'all can see that tree um, and how crooked that tree is but it really makes it a lot a lot easier to get a good a good bite Look, that thing is not going anywhere it really makes it a them two little feet make it really nice to get a good bite on the tree and get a good level surface for your dog uh, once again thanks for watching Tugland outdoors make sure y'all hit that like button make sure y'all hit that like button make sure y'all subscribe and uh, when y'all do subscribe make sure y'all hit that notification bell that way every time i upload a video you guys are right there along with us watching and seeing what the world of Tugland outdoors is doing and what products we're using that way y'all can enter that product into your hunting or fishing world all right so once again guys thanks for watching two glue outdoors we'll catch you next time